What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT Math from the Scalar Learning Channel and this is such an important video. It is all about six last minute tips to bump your SAT Math score by 100 or more points. So what does it mean to bump your score by 100 points? Well, depending on the curve and in some cases, as few as six questions could equate to a 100 point bump. Now, of course, in other situations, it might be seven, eight, nine, depending on where you fall on that particular scaling, but six can do it. So pay attention, listen up, and take these tips to heart. Let's do it. Tip number one is to draw out all figures and fill in all diagrams. So whenever they mention a geometric figure, and in some cases they will, but they won't provide a diagram, you've got to draw a diagram and fill it out. In other cases, they'll have diagrams there, but not all the information will be added in, not all the sides or the angle measures, etc. So make sure to take whatever information is in that question and put it in a visual representation to give yourself the absolute best chance to nail that question accurately. Tip number two is to underline all numbers and variables. This will make sure that you don't miss any of the facts in the question prompt. What you really want to be on the lookout for is those few cases where they actually say a number, but they write it in letters. For example, they'll say the number two as TWO. Getting these questions right means it's crucial that you don't miss any information, and this is the key to catching everything. Tip number three is to check all of your answers by plugging solutions back into original equations. And I know this is an added step, it might take a little bit of extra time, but barely any time. A lot of these checks in the equations can even be done mentally if you're running low on time. Those extra few seconds will not only bump your confidence, but will just give you that extra edge to make sure that you're not making any silly mistakes along the way. Tip number four is to circle the key part of each question. So what do I mean by the key part? I mean that very end. So for example, in some cases where you're having to solve for X, the question will actually be asking for 3X or X plus four or X plus Y. And you wanna make sure not to miss that because they'll usually have an answer choice that is simply X or is simply Y. By circling that end part of the question, you're gonna make sure that you don't gloss over that key element. If they want 4X, you're gonna get 4X, boom, done. Tip number five is to know the formulas that you need for success. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, we have an SAT math formula Bible video that has all of the formulas you need for success in the SAT. So I'm gonna post the link right up top. You can click that and check it out ASAP. Study these formulas, memorize them, get them down pat, and then if you do, you will have no doubt when it comes to the SAT math section. Finally, tip number six, just like you gotta know the formulas that you need, you've got to know the formulas that you don't need, meaning, you gotta know what formulas are actually gonna be given to you on the SAT. At the beginning of both the no calculator and calculator sections of the SAT, you're given the following reference sheet with tons of awesome geometric formulas. So guess what? That information is stuff that you don't need to memorize. It's right there, but you gotta know where to find it and what's on there. So if you need it, you can reference back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I wish you the best of luck on the SAT. Take it easy.